Welcome to Mark Reed 757. <laughs> I just did this video. Yeah, it happened again. I um, recorded a video and I said everything I wanted to say, and I'll be darned if it didn't come out right. The whatever reason. Anyway, let's get on with the show. I'm in a lot better mood this week. I feel terrific. I feel wonderful. I feel grateful. I feel blessed. Uh, everything and I know it was a super humdrum video last week I really didn't want to do any video last week but I did anyway I wanted to push through um, probably in hindsight I should have cleared my head a bit anyway I feel a lot better it's wonderful uh, on with the question how has documenting your journey on YouTube affected your success or failure well when you notice that I'm on a consistent basis doing my videos, generally I'm in a good mood and it's successful. Uh, I believe that the videos really help keep me on track and they help me uh, stay focused. And if I start to deviate in any way, I'll go right back to it. You know, I'll, I'll get right back on what I need to do. Uh, if you notice that my videos are not consistently up, um, I tend to fall out of the routine, fall out of what I have built, and started doing less of the healthy lifestyle, more of the, you know, unhealthy lifestyle. Uh, I have, for the majority, stayed away from pizza, which is amazing because pizza is my favorite food ever. Um, I still eat burgers once in a while, but I don't even do those as often anymore. Uh, the last two or three weeks, I've been staying away from caffeine as much as possible, like no coffee. Uh, I was doing the iced coffees pretty much on a daily basis, so I'm no longer doing those. Um, so, and I have to attribute YouTube to that. You know, YouTube has been amazing. Granted, there is this new change in YouTube, and I did post about this in a previous video. Um, I'm not too upset about the change. The change is calling for 4,000 hours of watch time in a calendar year and 1,000 subscribers before you can start to get back into the YouTube uh, partnership program. That's where us YouTube creators are able to make a little extra buck. However, with these videos that I'm doing, you know, sure, do I want some money? Who wouldn't? Okay, let's be honest. But... I'm doing these videos to really help somebody. And I know that I started these videos at one of my highest weights. You know, I was at 420 pounds. Uh, granted, I started last year where I was around 400, but I was really at 420 in January. However, I didn't start doing the videos consistent until March. Anyway, enough about that. I believe YouTube has been tremendous for me to stay on track and I wouldn't have it any other way and I would suggest if anybody wants to get on a healthy journey to just document it and put it out there it doesn't even matter if any of it gets seen at all you know if, if you put this out there and none of your videos get seen that's fine you know move on just keep going because you'll be watching them and I, I really love watching some of my older videos because that way it shows me the growth that I've been occurring. Um, hey, I'm super stoked. I was able to get back to disc golf. Uh, I haven't done that in quite some time. I have a disc golf league on Mondays that I was doing on a consistent basis. Uh, I kind of quit because it got way too cold and it's supposed to get cold again. So, you know, this is probably the one week thing. Uh, however, I can go back to the gym so I can still stay active. It's a win-win situation. See, um, I'm just, I'm happy. I'm about to get a place of my own because right now I'm in between places, just kind of crashing where I can. And uh, it's good to know there's good people out there to help out. That's all. All I gotta say, uh, see you next week or maybe before, who knows.